Welcome back to the reign of stats in PvP over Patience. Already 2-0 and making the two games he played look easy. Stats really showing a lot of confidence so far in this series. Yeah, uh, he's just way out controlled him in game two and in game one, he out harassed him. What's he gonna do in game three? Outbuild him, like he's gonna have the better build order or something. Uh, and then in game four, he just like rolls the dice and chooses one way to outplay him. He's like, ah, uh, so like, I'll play Zerg this time. It's fine. He's like, I'll do Phoenix versus Phoenix versus you and out Phoenix you. Like my Phoenix controls better. Um, no, but I, I, not to take anything away from Patience, he's just not playing up to Stats' level yeah. right now. Stats is crushing him in every sense of the word. I said before, Patience, he defeated Sue, he defeated Classic. Those are two big names, one of them a PvP, but somehow just having a ton of trouble against Stats, who seems really prepared today. Maybe there's a mental block here because Patience lost to Stats last Could time. Be. Could be. Just uh, not playing up to his full potential, I think. They're going to jump right into Runes of Ceres now for game number three of Patience versus Stats. Here we are on our giant grassy map, Runes of Ceres. And down on the bottom left of this map in the red, from K2 Rollster, it is Stats. 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 And on the other side of the map, well, to the top left, I should say, or vertically across from him, <laughs> it is Patience from Dead Pixels. Just a bit off there. I went to the dentist today. Never have a good Feeling day Feeling a bit woozy. That. Yeah. And it Dennis, happens. you got people sticking metal in your mouth. I'm like, oh, yep. Every that few tires months. you out, man. That stresses me out. It just, like, makes me physically less Well, here's up, the thing, too. You know? Like, I, I go to the dentist full Korean. So, like, the, well, the entire yeah. conversation is in <laughs> Korean, and I'm, like, at the dentist, and they, like, say something really fast. I'm like, what? <laughs> like, dentist adventures with wool. I'm like, I've never heard this, like, phrase for gargling water before like <laughs> yeah um no i know what you mean it's just like an added level of stress you're doing it all in your second language while there's metal in your mouth it's yeah. like well, like yeah. i'm like oh, there's like metal in my mouth like when i had to get surgery last year i was at the dentist like i'm gonna like get these and it's these in my mouth so like i can only feel half my mouth and like my tongue feels all weird and i'm like they're like are you okay? Like in Korean, like Kenjin and I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> you're like a murloc. They're like, whoa. What yeah. have we done? I'm like, what if something terrible happens and I need them to stop, but I can't? Like, so. Uh. Wow, she's here alone. Yeah. So could it be she's a big fan of one of the players? Ooh. Maybe she like is like, I'll ask him out after this. Could be. A bit nervous. You gotta wait for the fan meeting to do that. <laughs> she's like, I'm, I want to ask patience out, but like, I don't know, his control's been oh. off today. <laughs> Maybe he's gonna he's really kind of changing my mind today. I don't know about this. Maybe he's gonna freak out when I ask him. I don't know. And I try to ask stats out, he's just gonna he's gonna back off like a weekend stalker and I'll never be able to catch him. Like, he's gonna disappear <laughs> into the painting and then you're gonna have to find him, like where's Waldo? He yeah. doesn't really look like Waldo anymore though. No, I really, really gotta hand it to him after he just had like the Waldo glasses, so that was the main reason. So once he got rid of those, he just turned into a handsome nerd wolf. Yeah, that's right. Ooh. Though this mothership core is gonna have to recall, I was about to say he's getting a bit greedy with that one. <laughs> um, not much information gained there. But a nice attempt uh, nonetheless from stats. Yeah. It's going to be stalkers for stats. Sentry's coming out for patience after his first initial stalker round. And next is coming down at identical timing, and stats is also grabbing sentries. Actually, I want to check. Did I miss something, or were there not two adepts on the way? Did he, like, cancel He must have those? canceled them, because I was going to say there's no way he should have less stalkers, because they've been building at the same time. So it looks like he did cancel a wave of those, and that's also why he has more money, if you look at his gas. So. Looks like he just decided that was not going to be the way. Yeah. I don't mean that like in a sense. Adepts end. are not the way. Yeah. It's not like it's not like well, it wasn't in Sun Tzu's book, so it's not. It's yeah. Just like it's <sighs> just canceled those. Uh, Why well, I'm off today, man. So, <laughs> uh, Robo coming it's up for good. both players. This is going to be Patience's attempt to scout and then the recall, Ooh. but he doesn't get away in time. Correct. He's like the other mothership core is like, oh, I got away and look at this. He's like, I'll kill you this one too. He's, he's only the finishing blow by overcharging that pylon. 
Yeah. The guts splattering all over the worker line. They still have to work because they are enslaved. You know, or probes. The pylon gets the kill. If you look, if you click on a pylon, it actually has like a kill counter, I believe. But like, really, the mothership could should actually get the kill. Um, or no, the pylon doesn't have it. It's like on the nexus. It's like really buggy. I, I, there was actually a thread on Reddit about this recently. But anyway, the mothership Somebody core should really be the killer. To confirm. <laughs> the mothership core should really be the killer. It's the one that sets off. Yeah, the it bomb. doesn't have a kill on the mothership core yet. So. Well, I mean, it, I don't know exactly if the mothership was only got the last hit either. This mothership core is just casually going to scout, by the way. Yeah, scouts everything in recalls. So another really nice scout there from Stats, and he's going for a quick Robo Bay this time. I'm starting to feel like. Hmm. Correct me if I'm wrong here, yep, but this is like is. so early. I think it's going to be a drop. Yeah, I think it's going to be uh, disruptor drops here. Yeah. Uh, go for the speed on the robotics bay, make those disruptors with that tech, and just drop them in there. It's really hard to deal with, even if you do have blink, because you can pick up the disruptors from so far away. And unless you have enough to snipe down the Warp Prism in one hit, uh, or if you get your Warp Prism really out of position, it's it's those are the only two ways that it's going to go down. Um, you ever think about, you know, Colossi have a, a range upgrade called Thermal Lance, but what if those yes. are range upgrade for, uh, for the Disruptor? They what if they got extra speed? The yeah. upgrade was like 300, 300 or something, but they exploded quicker and they moved faster yeah, or something? Yeah, and, and like it had like longer range and it moved and like the explosion like going faster. Yeah. They could call it like the bowling ball upgrade because it's like a bowling ball about to hit a bunch of pens. It's going to get a strike every time. Or they Pretty call much, it like yeah. the, the kick the kickball master or something. It's like imagining my old uh, kickball days and throw that kickball really fast. Yeah. I always imagine the disruptor shot as a, a kickball, like an inflatable ball, mm. and it just blows everything up. Don't know why I think that way. It kind of does look like it a little bit. A bit more techy, you know, a bit more interesting, but either way. <laughs> yeah. Blizzard's like, Wolf, I don't know, like, I designed this, it looks pretty cool, like, it has a cool sound effect. I'm like, nah, it's a kickball. Yeah. Well, here we go, we do have the uh, upgrade on the speed coming in here on this Warp Prism, and one Disruptor is complete. He's actually going to go all the way around and try to go for the probes here in the natural. He's going to actually scout the Dark Shrine with this as well. Oh, late pull. Oh, that could have been a lot worse. Yeah, he actually failed to move it there towards the end, so only gets four kills, but eh, some kills either way. Yeah. If he actually moved it to where the, all the probes were panic bunching up, that would have been like oh, yeah. eight kills or something. Uh, let's see what happens when the second one goes off, because he's going to be off cooldown in a second, and there's no way to deal with that warp prism right now. The observer's not going to like stare at it to death to kill it, so <laughs> should we get He scouts the dark shrine here, but I don't know if he actually made observers back at home. Oh, he's like, well, I'll just kill your stalkers instead. Thank you. <laughs> That's what you can do if you don't have enough to either burst down the disruptor or the warp prism, you are going to lose stuff unless you have the perfect splits here. So that's why this this kind of uh, build, you know, it's very multitask heavy and very demanding of a build, but if you can make it work, it can do so much damage. Well, these observers are out in position. Patience, oh! no! Uh, oh, that's exactly what is like the best possible there. The, the overcharge is like, wait, 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 come back. The DTs are scouted. This third base doesn't have an observer at it, but he could just move that. Yeah. He's just like moving across the map. I think he's going to try to all in here. He doesn't have enough units. I mean, look at this. Oh, War Prism no. comes in. There's a cannon and an observer and everything. Stalkers, uh, Mothership Core he gets wasn't, immediately shut down. He wasn't even paying attention, you know? He didn't even turn it around at the right time. Look at time. this army. That's not big enough. Is that an army? Whoa. Move command my disruptor, and that's how dead you are, okay? Yeah, I've got another one here. That's fine. I have more where that came from. He's like, I'll kill my own stalker with a disruptor and still beat your push. <laughs> we just saw that happen. <laughs> that's essentially By the way, what he's saying. I'm pretty sure the disruptor for stats is still in that warp prism, right? Up oh, there it is. Yeah, here we go again. Gonna oh. try to burst it down. A blink comes in, almost gets it. That yeah, was much closer there, but he still um, like killed a stalker or two and got away. DT has to run away here now, too. The third base for Patience is up in mining, a little bit better than Stats is right now. But Stats just has the way better tech and a much larger army. And yeah. he's going to start being a little bit more aggressive soon. Specifically the much larger army. Now that he has his own blank, uh, can definitely begin to put on the pressure. I like that Patience is making a bunch of Immortals here. He's got two out so far. Definitely going to help against the 16, now 19 Blink Stalkers, 20 even. Oh boy, here we go again. Five more. Line them up, knock them down. This is one of the powerful builds you could do versus a non-Stargate opener, because what are oh, they going to yeah. do? There's so much dead airspace on this map as well. He's oh, like, yeah, man. now it's just part of the army. <laughs> 
drop it in, I can use it to warp in. I'll pick him up, I've got Blink, but I can pick him up too. You know, whatever, I can do whatever I want. Some more forces come here, and they lock down two of these Immortals. Oh. That's just playing like a god. And now he just like targets the Immortal with the Disruptor. He's like, wow, it still didn't die, it's still alive. Okay, big Blink forward here, actually, try to target these down. And you know, the army of patience in this location is strong until the warp, and just like last game, Stats is like, oh, you thought you were at the bigger army, but I have way more money than you. Let me just flash it in your face. Warp in in the middle of the fight, the twice the army that you have in one warp in. Yeah. That's GG. it, GG. There it is. Stats. Stats, man, he's wrecking it. He is unbelievably good today. I, I don't think I've ever seen Stats play this well. He wants a finals, man. He's never had that before. And again, I, I always clarify this, WECG does not count. <laughs> He's never had you a finals You always have before. to take that away from him, Wolf. I do. It's, that wasn't a real <laughs> tournament. It was a qualifier for a tournament that never happened. Um, and you, me and Moonlight, we casted it, but it <laughs> just never happened still. Um, and it was not a Star League, that's for sure. Stats also looks like so disinterested. He's like looking at the score screen. He's like, how much did I lose in that game? He's yeah, like, that wasn't I mean, even as good of a game as I thought it should be. You talk about how that kind of build, the Disruptor uh, play on that map is really strong. But even on maps that it's strong on, a lot of Protosses just don't do it. It's a really flashy build that you don't see a lot. And I think Stats was like, oh, I could just do this and get away with, with it, you know? Yeah, X-Star.